The following paid content is sponsored by True North Advisors. Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors of our time, yet his investing principles are surprisingly simple and easy for everyone to understand. Warren's also famous for his straightforward and clever pieces of advice. And one of his most popular quotes is, it's good to learn from your mistakes, but it's even better to learn from other people's mistakes. And this is especially true when it comes to planning for your retirement. Hello, I'm Michael Cogdell, and welcome to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Coming up on today's show, we're going to talk about how you could avoid five retirement planning mistakes that could needlessly wipe out your hard-earned savings. Saving for retirement is a great start, but it's what you do with this money that really matters. What's your plan to reduce your taxes, generate income, withdraw money from your IRA or 401k, or pay for the skyrocketing cost of health care? Welcome to Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. Matt is a fiduciary retirement advisor and is a member of the Forbes Finance Council. This is where you can count on straightforward and objective advice about how you can make the most out of every dollar you've saved for retirement. Hi, I'm Michael Cogdill, and welcome to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Today we're talking about how you could avoid five retirement planning mistakes that could wipe out your hard-earned savings. Joining us is Matt Dixon, founder of True North Advisors. Matt is a fiduciary retirement advisor, a registered financial consultant, and a member of the Forbes Finance Council. Matt, it's great to see you. It's great to see you too, Michael. We're going to talk about those five retirement planning mistakes, and let's dive right in with that very first one. Well, Michael, the first mistake is not having a plan to generate income in your retirement. Because if you want to retire successfully, your money needs to work for you to help pay for retirement. When you retire, you'll likely end up in one of two positions. One, you're living off of your retirement savings. This means that every time you spend a dollar and every time you write a check or charge something on your credit card, you see your savings shrink. That's unnerving. So you're living in constant fear of running out of money in retirement. And that doesn't sound like a great way to enjoy your retirement. But if you're in the other camp, your money's working for you. You have different sources of income coming in every month or every quarter by design like clockwork. These different income sources allow you to do all the things you dreamed of doing in retirement. Things like spending money on your kids and your grandkids, traveling or buying that vacation home. So this is really important piece of the retirement planning puzzle. But most people go into retirement and they don't have this part figured out. And that's scary. But generating income in retirement is not as easy as it used to be, is it? So generating income in retirement today is not without its challenges. And it's true, you can get far more attractive interest rates on CDs or treasuries than you did just a few years ago. But you could still be losing money after you consider the impact of inflation, and taxes. Bonds aren't much better. And the people still fear of the stock market and they don't want to risk their principal. Social Security is another important source of income in retirement, but it also has its own set of challenges right now. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the Social Security Trust Fund is projected to run out of money in less than 10 years. There's no real solution to fix this problem. So this is having an impact on how and when you should file for Social Security benefits. Very serious decision. So Matt, how can retirees um, generate income in retirement? Michael, it's a great question. I think your strategy should have several different sources of income, all from different non-correlated sources. The more diversified these income sources are, the better protected you'll be during inflation, market downturns, recessions, which are all bound to happen again and again during your retirement. And Matt, that makes so much sense. We know uh, plenty of retirees worry about running out of money during their retirement. What is that second mistake that retirees uh, really should know about? Michael, the second retirement planning mistake is not having a strategy to reduce your taxes. People are so worried about running out of money that they often miss out on this one. The second mistake is not taking any steps to reduce your taxes in retirement. They'll be paying fewer taxes is what they expect, but I can understand that because you're no longer earning a paycheck. But unfortunately, that's not the case for most hardworking Americans. When you add up the withdrawals from your IRA and 401k, your Social Security benefits, and other investment income, you could find yourself paying even more in taxes 
while you're in retirement. And to make matters worse, you probably won't have the same kind of deductions that you had while you were working. These deductions include writing off mortgage interest or claiming dependents, so taxes could really end up being one of the biggest expenses in retirement. On another note, taxes could be an even bigger deal for the next generation of retirees, and here's why. In the past couple of years, the government has gone on a massive spending spree between economic stimulus, new infrastructure, social policy bills, and more. Our national debt is at an all-time high. But you have to understand something really important. The government doesn't have money of its own. The only way to pay down this debt is by raising taxes. In addition to other challenges that are going on in our current economy right now, higher taxes could be the next shoe to drop. That's an ugly shoe. So Matt, how much higher could we see taxes go? If you look at the history of federal income tax rates, taxes today are the lowest they've been in over 40 years. The top tax rate today is 37%. But if you can recall back in the early 80s when you had a huge problem with inflation, the highest federal tax rate was 70%. And I'm not suggesting that taxes are going to go up to 70, but there's a lot of room between 37% and 70. Mm, still a daunting number. Matt, uh, this could really be bad news for retirees, could it not? Absolutely. And it could be some of the worst timing possible because if you're nearing retirement, this means you could be paying a lot more in taxes on your IRA and 401k withdrawals. And you could be paying higher taxes on your Social Security benefits and higher taxes even on your investment income like dividends and real estate. So the money you were counting on for retirement could end up being a lot less than you thought it was going to be. Mm. But is there anything retirees can do to protect themselves from higher taxes? Fantastic question. Well, Michael, believe it or not, you have more control over how much you pay in taxes in retirement right now than at any other time in your life. But it doesn't happen automatically. You have to be proactive and take action. The key here is understanding the difference between tax preparation versus tax planning. Let me explain. Tax preparation is something you've d probably done all your life. You prepare and file your taxes every April with the help of a CPA or an accountant. But other than some obvious deductions that might save you a few dollars, at this point, what's done is done. You're just reporting tax history. Tax planning, on the other hand, is something altogether different. Here you're looking forward, not backward, and you're using the tax laws to your advantage. So tax planning could be especially powerful in retirement. It's not uncommon for us to uncover tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings we see results like this pretty often. So I can see why uh, overlooking tax planning in retirement could be a huge mistake. Matt, what advice do you have for our viewers out there about tax planning? Well, retirement planning could be a huge mistake for you if that you're not focusing on the type of tax implication that you could have. If I ask you, though, Michael, how much money you have saved for retirement, you'd probably know that number right off the top of your head, right? But if I ask how much you'll owe in taxes on your retirement savings, would you know that number right off the top of your head? And don't feel bad about that because most people don't have a clue. But that's the most important number you need to know, right? Because if you don't know how much you'll owe in taxes, you really don't know how much money you'll have for retirement. And that's why we put something together just for our viewers on the show today. Discover how you could drastically reduce your taxes in retirement with a free retirement tax savings analysis. Matt, explain for us uh, how that works. Absolutely. Once we get some basic information from you, we determine the tax saving strategies that are best suited for your specific situation. Then we sit down and share these strategies with you so that you can see exactly how much money you could end up saving. I'm not talking about some obvious deductions that might save you a few bucks here or there. The savings could be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in retirement. And taxes are going to play a critical role in your financial game plan. So take advantage of this opportunity to learn exactly how much money you could save. Matt, that's so valuable. Thank you. So, how much money could you save in taxes when you retire? Find out with a free customized retirement tax savings analysis from True North Advisors with locations in Greenville, Asheville, and Clemson. 
If you have saved at least $200,000 for retirement, schedule your free analysis now by calling 864-737-6520. That's 864-737-6520. There's no cost, no obligation, but this offer is only available if you call today. So call right now, 864-737-6520. Coming up next, we'll share two more retirement planning mistakes that could wipe out your hard-earned savings. You're watching Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. This is where you can count on straightforward and objective advice about how you could make the most out of every dollar you've saved for retirement. And now back to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Welcome back. I'm Michael Cogdell, and you're watching Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Today, we're talking about how you could avoid five retirement planning mistakes that could actually wipe out your hard-earned savings. With us is Matt Dixon. He is the founder of True North Advisors. Matt, thank you for being with us today. Let's talk about that third retirement planning mistake. The third retirement planning mistake is underestimating the skyrocketing cost of health care in retirement. According to MarketWatch, a healthy 65-year-old couple is projected to spend $662,000 in health care expenses in retirement. That's unbelievable, isn't it? But that's not the worst news. Health care expenses are expected to rise at a rate of 5.9% per year. So that $662,000 figure is going to go up every single year. And thanks to modern medicine, we're living a lot longer than ever before. And the longer you live, the more expenses you'll incur, and that's because longevity has a snowballing effect on your expenses. Unfortunately, most people underestimate, though, the cost of health care in retirement, and this is because people think, oh, I have Medicare, and Medicare pays for all my medical expenses in retirement, right? Actually, that's wrong. Medicare will pay for some of your medical expenses in retirement, but not all of them you still have to come out of pocket for a handful of expenses, and it can add up quickly. Matt, does Medicare cover long-term care? This is an important question because it's hard to think about needing long-term care when you're healthy. But the statistics aren't in your favor. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services reported that the average 65-year-old has a 70% chance of needing some form of long-term care. That's 70%. And the reason I bring this up is long-term care doesn't come cheap. The latest estimations are saying that the average cost of a nursing home is about $108,000 a year. A semi-private room would be $95,000. And if you could get them to come to your house, it's about $62,000 a year. Here's something else to consider, though, that's really important, is most people will retire around 61 to 62, but Medicare doesn't kick in until you're 65. So you have to come up with coverage and you will have to have a plan to be able to pay out of pocket until your 65th birthday. Now, this is so daunting, all of this. And if you don't have a plan, it's easy to see how uh, the cost of health care and long-term care could take a big chunk out of someone's nest egg. So let's talk about that fourth uh, retirement planning mistake people tend to make. Michael, the fourth mistake is having too much investment risk. Unfortunately, we see people make this mistake all the time. Investment risk isn't one of those things people usually think about in a retirement plan but it's one of the most underrated yet important effective pillars of a retirement plan. Having a diversified investment portfolio that mirrors your appetite for risk could be the single most important thing to help protect your nest egg during a sudden downturn in the stock market or a bear market. Because remember, the closer you are to retirement, the less risk you should be taking because you don't have the runway or the time you used to have to recover from any major financial setbacks. Our team gets the opportunity to visit with hundreds of families every year. And when we have that first meeting with new prospective clients, over 90% of them are taking far more investment risk than they know or than they need to at this stage of the game. So when we talk about investment risk, the possibility of losing even a dollar, the client tells us one thing, but their portfolio sometimes says something entirely different. And that's not good. You see, when you have a wild swing in the stock market, like we've had the last couple of years, your investments can become skewed, so you could unknowingly be invested too conservatively or too aggressively. And neither one of these 
these things are a good scenario. One of my favorite quotes from Warren Buffett is, it's insane to risk what you already have in order to obtain what you don't need. In other words, if you already have enough, why would you keep taking more risks than you need to? And this is one of the most important things to keep in mind when making decisions about your investments. So updating and rebalancing your portfolio isn't a one-time thing. It's something that should happen every six to 12 months or whenever there's a significant move with the stock market in either direction, or when you experience some kind of life-changing event. The last thing I'll add here is that you shouldn't oversimplify your asset allocation either. Don't follow some one-size-fits-all strategy that was invented decades ago, like the 60-40 rule or the 100 minus your age and stocks rule. A properly diversified portfolio is going to be a lot more than just a simple mix of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds in your portfolio, and it will likely totally be unique to your specific financial situation. Matt, this makes so much sense. So what advice do you have for our viewers right here? Given what's going on with the economy and the stock market, trying to grow your retirement savings today could come with a lot of risk. Most people typically don't think about this, but the fastest and safest way you could grow your retirement savings right now is by reducing your taxes in retirement. Why is that? Because less money you pay in taxes, the more money you'll have to spend on you and your family in retirement. That's why I put something together just for the viewers on the show today. Discover how you could dramatically reduce your taxes in retirement with a free retirement tax savings analysis. Matt, tell us how it works. Absolutely. Once we get some basic information from you, we determine the tax saving strategies that are best suited for your specific situation. Then we sit down and share these strategies with you so you can see exactly how much money you could save in taxes. I'm not talking about some obvious deductions that might save you a few bucks here or there. The tax savings could be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in retirement. Taxes could play a critical role in retirement planning for this next wave of retirees. So take advantage of this opportunity to learn exactly how much money you could save. Matt, that is so valuable. Thank you so much. So find out how much money you could save in taxes when you retire with a free customized retirement tax savings analysis from True North Advisors with locations in Greenville, Asheville, and Clemson. If you have saved at least $200,000 for retirement, schedule your free analysis now by calling 864-737-6520. That's 864-737-6520. There's no cost or obligation, but the offer is available only if you call today, 864-737-6520. When we come back, we're going to talk about one of the most overlooked retirement planning mistakes. Don't go away. You're watching Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. This is where you can count on straightforward and objective advice about the toughest challenges with retiring today, like reducing your taxes, generating income, optimizing your Social Security benefits, and paying for the skyrocketing cost of health care. Now, back to Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Welcome back. I'm Michael Cogdell, and you're watching Retire Ready Today with True North Advisors. Today, we are talking about how you could avoid five retirement planning mistakes that could wipe out your hard-earned savings. With us today, Matt Dixon. He is the founder of True North Advisors. Matt is a fiduciary retirement advisor, a registered financial consultant, and a member of the Forbes Finance Council. Matt, let's talk about uh, that uh, fifth uh, and final retirement planning mistake. Michael, the final retirement planning mistake is probably one of the most overlooked pieces of a retirement game plan. That's not having a legacy plan. When you think about the real priorities in your life, that's stuff that really matters. It's your family, right? One of the most important things you can do for them is to make sure your estate is protected. That way you can be sure your assets will go directly to the people that you love, not to the government. Unfortunately, this is something so many people put off. They never get around to it. And in the end, all of your hard work, savings, and sacrifice is all for naught. Because if you don't take steps to protect your estate now, everything you've worked for, including your house, 
bank accounts, investments, and other assets could be tied up in probate court for years. And this could cost your estate a small fortune mm -hmm. in fees. And your estate could even be double taxed by the government. That is daunting. But Matt, a lot of people have this notion that estate planning is only for the wealthy. Is that true? Michael, it's actually not true. A lot of people assume estate planning is just for the wealthy. But even if you've amassed a small amount of wealth, it's critical you have a plan in place. An estate plan will help control the distribution of your assets to the right people, and it will also protect your privacy. Plus, it can include guidance for end-of-life medical intervention, so you get the final say in whatever happens to you. Just be sure you're regularly updating your estate plan as laws and life changes happen. This is so important. You really have to ask yourself, am I going to leave a legacy to the people I love and care about, or am I going to leave a mess? And nobody wants to do that. Why would we want to leave a mess? Indeed. So, Matt, today you've talked about taxes, generating income. Uh, we've talked about health care, investment risk, legacy planning. But how many people have made a plan for all of these things? That's a fantastic question. Most of the families we meet with every year just have a stack of investment statements. But that's just a portfolio, right? Not a retirement game plan. They're missing all the critical things we just talked about. So it's important to note that everything is connected. For example, you can't talk about an IRA and 401k withdrawal without talking about Social Security. And you can't talk about Social Security without talking about the T word, taxes. You can also include investment income in this equation. Because when we're talking about retirement income, we're also talking about taxes. And it keeps going. So every move you make could have a domino effect on other pieces of your retirement game plan. But when you have a comprehensive financial game plan, a plan that tackles all of the things we've addressed here today, your money could go a lot further in retirement. So let's look at the first piece of the puzzle, which is having an investment plan. In an investment plan, you need to manage risk, right? You need to address updating and rebalancing your portfolio and asset allocation. How much do I have in stocks, bonds, annuities, cash, that kind of thing? What should that balance be? And how does all of that work together? The second piece of the puzzle is having a plan to make sure your money works for you to generate income in retirement. When you retire, your paycheck stops. So how do we get that money to keep coming in? What are your expenses? How do you claim Social Security? When do you take a pension? Or should you take a lump sum instead? How do you pull money out of your IRA and 401k accounts versus your after-tax accounts? Which accounts do you draw from first? So there's a lot that needs to be considered here. The third piece of the puzzle is tax planning. And this one is so critical. Here we're looking at all of your different sources of income in retirement and how we could reduce these taxes so more money will stay in your pocket because it's not how much we make, it's how much we keep, right? So we're looking at all kinds of tax reduction strategies, potential Roth and tax-free conversions, what we, what we could do to mitigate higher taxes down the road. Which accounts do you pull from first in your portfolio? Again, all to reduce what could be your biggest expense in retirement. And our team can help by creating this plan for you. The fourth piece of the puzzle is having a plan to address the skyrocketing cost of healthcare. We talked about healthcare earlier, but you could be looking at spending well over $600,000 on healthcare costs throughout your retirement. So how do you plan to pay for that? When do you go on Medicare? What are the most affordable long-term care options? Or do you self-care? And the fifth and final piece of the puzzle is estate planning. The last thing you want to do is to give it all to the government, that hard-earned savings that you sacrifice for. What are the steps you can take now to protect the people that you love? How do you make sure that everything happens according to your wishes? 
given all of the economic challenges we've seen over the past couple of years, if you hope to retire successfully today, saving and investing alone will not be enough. You need a financial comprehensive game plan that covers all of these things we've talked about because this is how you could make your money go a lot further in retirement. Matt, all of this makes so much sense. Is there any parting advice that you want to leave our viewers with today? Absolutely, Michael. If you hope to retire in the next five years, what's your plan to reduce your taxes? How and when will you withdraw money from your IRA or 401k? How will you pay for the skyrocketing cost of health care? These are just some of the critical questions you need to answer before you can even begin to think about retiring. And that's why we put something together just for the viewers on the show today. We will create a comprehensive financial game plan for you. It's called our True Retirement Plan, and we won't charge you a dime for this. This is not some one-size-fits-all plan, though. It's a customized, specific for your situation analysis, and it addresses taxes, IRAs, 401ks, paying for health care, generating income, Social Security, and more. Now, many advisors charge thousands of dollars for a customized financial game plan like this. We're not going to charge you a dime for it. Matt, so much value you've added to all of our lives today. We thank you so much. Learn how you could make your money go a lot further in retirement with a free customized retirement plan from True North Advisors with locations in Greenville, Asheville, and in Clemson. If you have saved at least $200,000 for retirement, schedule your free analysis now by calling 864-737-6520. That's 864-737-6520. That's no cost, no obligation, but this offer is available only if you call today, and this is an opportunity you don't want to pass up. So call right now, 864-737-6520. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching Retire Ready Today with Matt Dixon of True North Advisors. We look forward to seeing you next time. And remember, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. If you hope to retire successfully today, saving and investing alone is no longer enough. You need a comprehensive financial game plan, a plan to reduce your taxes, a plan to withdraw money from your IRA and 401k, get the most out of your social security benefits, pay for the skyrocketing cost of health care, and so much more. That's exactly what the True North Retirement Plan could do for you. And the best part is, it won't cost you a dime. If you've saved more than $200,000 for retirement, schedule your initial analysis now by calling 864-737-6520. This is the single most important tool that could help your money go a lot further in retirement. To schedule your initial analysis, call 864-737-6520. That's 864-737-6520. The previous paid content was sponsored by True North Advisors.